again, coming back to this word revolutionary, which that Economist article used, you know, what makes an iPhone a revolutionary phone? It's obviously what you can do with that phone. And this is a particular graph out of my book where I show that every single technology which makes you do cool things, whether it's you know, uh, searching the web through the internet, GPS, knowing where you are, touchscreen display, being able to use that phone in a very easy way, even um, the new Siri voice-activated system, which on my phone never seems to work, um, but you know, apparently it's a revolutionary technology. Um, it was all government-funded. All of it. These are the particular state agencies, which, you know, it's really important that when I use the word state, I'm not talking about big brother, you know, even a ministry. I'm talking about a decentralized network of different agencies, which are absolutely fundamental to, um, to uh, the outcome of these technologies. And so, of course, someone like Steve Jobs was absolutely essential, and there's not enough people like him uh, with a sense of design, of simplicity, of putting those existing technologies together in a very cool way. That's an extremely important role, absolutely fundamental. We know a lot about that. There's that great biography, but not one page of that biography actually mentions the public funding which, which went into this revolutionary new phone.